Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to do a short little clip on a glam makeup look. It is, I don't even know what today is. I think it's a Wednesday. It might be a Thursday. I am not too sure. I am back in Texas and the weather change just got me like dead. I have huge under eyes, more than what I usually have. I have a runny nose and it's like freezing in here and it's only about like 52 degrees which for me is kind of cold since I lived in Arizona mostly my whole life. And so I kind of needed a motivation. I took a shower, put on my contacts. Literally, my day does not start until I apply my contacts. I feel like if I go like midday without wearing my contacts and then I put them on, I'm like, whoa, it's a whole new anyway, day. So I wanted to do like a little burgundy look. I'm kind of just going to wing it. So if you guys would like to see the finished look, just keep on watching. To prime my face, I am starting off with this LA Girl Pro Primer. Today I am going to conceal, so I'm using this LA Girl Pro HD Concealer. And I usually get this at Klein Cactus. Usually when I go to Phoenix, it's only about $2.49. And so this is what it looks like. It is the yellow corrector. And I'm just going to be using this under my eyes and around my face to cover my blemishes. I'm actually going to let that sit for a little while. For my lips, I am using this Nicole Guerrero Best Damn Beauty Lip Mask. And this is like a life changer. I like to apply this every morning, every night, and then before I do my makeup, that way it like, keeps them really moist and ready for any type of lip gloss or just a matte lipstick. I am going to go with a dab beauty blender and then just kind of like press all of that concealer into my face. I don't want to get rid of it since we are trying to cover our blemishes. Once I blend in a little bit my concealer, I go ahead and apply my foundation. This is the Maybelline True Match. Now that I blended in my foundation, I am going to be using this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And this is in the color Light, number 10. To set my concealer and foundation, I like to use baby powder. This is like the cheapest method ever. The baby powder usually comes in a big old jar or container or something like that and it's about from a dollar to maybe three dollars I usually get the bigger one and then I just buy this little travel thingy that you get from like the little travel size section and this is only about 88 cents and then I just usually put it in here that way I don't carry around the big container apply some there and then with a the beauty blender I like to set my foundation I do gotta say it is a little bit messy, so you just have to be like extra careful. I like to put this under my eyes and let it set for a little bit. And then I also like to apply this right there. And I feel like that kind of guides me to where I want to put my powder for. So I usually start like at this tip and then bring it over here. And then that kind of like helps me so when I'm contouring my face. I don't really go in too deep with contouring my face and using liquid stuff. I like to keep it simple and use powders. So this is a bronzer from Rimmel. And I really like this. Not only because it's extremely cheap, but it lasts so long. It was about $3 at like a drugstore. For my eyebrows, I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Soft Brown. And I think now we're ready to move on to the eyes. I found this real cool technique to do my eyeshadow. So this is a surgical, I believe it's surgical tape. Surgical tape. I have no idea where I got it. Well, actually, I do know where I got it, but I don't know where it came from because I did not purchase this. I found this in like my miscellaneous um, drawer when I was moving over here to Texas. It probably belonged to my mom or my sister or my dad or someone in the family, right? This works amazing. So I just like to get a little piece and then apply it right under my eye. And I like to get it long enough so it covers half of my eye and then all the way to the end of my eyebrow. For my eyeshadow, I am going to be using this Miss Fabulous palette. And this is by Ulta and Jenny Fox. And I absolutely love this. Look at all those colors. I've used this quite a bit since I last got it. And this is only about $20. I gotta say this is my favorite color. And then this color right here. I usually just use these three and then these two. And I really haven't tried any of the other ones, 
for today's look i'm gonna try and use this one the most and then i'm also gonna be using the bomb cosmetics and this is the color mac more and it's a really like burgundy color so i'm gonna start off with the darkest color which is this one and i want to apply this right on the crease of my eye i literally just did like one swab across my eye and look how pigmented it is Okay, so all I did was blend it in with the same brush. I didn't go back and apply more. This is exactly the same amount that I used the first time. So I just blended it in and I'm going to go ahead and use the color Mitten in this Miss Fabulous palette. And then I'm using like a wider brush. This is just going to be kind of to like blend it in and smooth it out. I actually love the way that it looks. So for my lid, I am going to be using the color Fox. It's a little bit gold, so I feel like this is going to work perfect. And I'm just going to apply this right on my lid. Now using the lightest shade Virgo, it's like a little bit white. I'm going to be using the same brush and kind of just apply it on my inner eye. Also right at the center of my lid. Also the same color Virgo, I want to put it right under my brow bone. And then I'm just using a clean brush to kind of blend all of that in together. For my liner, I'm going to be doing a wing liner using my Maybelline Stiletto Liner and I'm also going to be curling my lashes and applying some mascara. This is the Maybelline Makeup Plush Mascara and these two are absolutely my favorites right now. For my lips, I am using the Kylie Cosmetics Matte Lipstick in the color Candy K. this is it for the final look guys i really like the way that it came out i am not digging my short hair but you know what else can i do about it so thank you guys for stopping by i hope you guys enjoy please like comment and subscribe bye